Comcast has got to decide quickly whether they're willing to be aggressively um, aggressive in their bidding, because if we think this is going to close in two months, most of the people on the Fox board would say, "Look, this is a guaranteed closing closing deal." Bird in the hand. I'm going to I'm going to need a much higher bid from Comcast in order to keep this going. So I would think Comcast needs to put in another. 20% higher than where they are. You know, where 20% Disney is. higher than where they are right now, or, 20, or always is going to be 20% higher than whatever is that, Disney so bid So Disney's is. 38, and you'd say, look, you probably need a $44 bid to get people at Fox to pay attention. Or a $42 bid, you'd say, well, it's 10%. I could just take this bid and close in two months, right? So it needs to be a big number, a really big number. So you, and 44 is your number? Well, we, we thought 42 to 44 is kind of where this thing should settle. Do you think that the decision by the Department of Justice to move this on such a fast track is political. Is it political? Is it political? I, it's, it's, yeah. I'm asking. It, it straightforward question. It's a good, Maybe less straightforward answer. I don't know. <laughs> it, looks, it looks that it's accelerated in a political fashion, right? It's so quick versus other. The normal course. Right. And it was complicated, right? I think everyone was shocked how quickly this thing was, was decided, right? When we heard last week that it was two weeks away, most people said that can't be true. There's no way that this could be done so, you know, so quickly, right? It, it, it actually is a huge advantage to Disney that this is done. Huge. Obviously, a huge advantage, right? How much of this massive global deal and all this intrigue and all the parks and the businesses and everything like this ultimately comes down to whether Rupert Murdoch's family gets their tax bill paid? Well, there's no way the Fox board would agree on a deal just for, for that reason. There's no way you could say, I'm taking a lower but bid. The Fox board is Rupert Murdoch and everybody else. Right, but still, you would have, I know the shareholders who are in, who own Fox. There's no way they're going to sit by and let a deal done. That's how did, done. How do they feel about this? I mean, what, what would they need to see from Comcast? I think they would to... say they need a, a much higher bid in order to wait. Because look, right. Time Warner took way too long to close, right? By the time Time Warner closed, you could argue, at and got a really good price because it took two years to close, right? So I would say the risk would be, yeah, I'm going to need a higher bid in order to justify the time value of money. At what price does this no longer make sense for either side? And is there one price that Comcast can afford to pay and a different price do you think that Disney can afford to pay where you look five years from now and you'd say, okay, that made sense? And other prices where you say there's a winner's curse here? I would say you get it above the mid 40s, it's a winner's curse. Okay? What Disney has articulated from the get go is that they want to build a global direct to consumer product. And Fox's content helps them do that quickly. So I would say Disney has a better rationale because they want to take Fox's IP and put it on their platform. So Disney couldn't pay more than Comcast because that rationale should result in some long term benefit to Disney's stock. Whereas Comcast could probably lever up more because their balance sheet, right. their business is probably more leverageable. Than Disney's. I don't want to get too micro, yeah. but when you say IP, and correct me if I'm wrong, please, I understand, you know, Disney's made a fortune off Marvel, Marvel mm -hmm. comics, right? right? Uh, yeah, and, and Star Wars, Sony, and Pixar. So, yeah. so, but bizarrely, Fox owns the rights to the biggest X-Men character, Wolverine, right? Yeah. Or the X-Men franchise, right. I think Fox has. So does Disney have this massive incentive to maybe, to Andrew's point, overpay? Because they need to bring in the one Marvel asset that they're desperate to get that they do not have. So, so I'll open that to a broader question. Over the past decade, when Bob Iger's done a deal to buy content, our first reaction on Wall Street's always been, they've overpaid. They overpaid for Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm. You thought they overpaid for everything. Everyone yeah. thought that. But because of that execution to your question, because they're able to actually take great content and really pump it through the parks, consumer products, the film division, and now this global direct-to-consumer platform, they've always made those deals look really good in, in hindsight. If Comcast were to walk away from this now, yes. two things. One is, you could argue that Comcast won in certain ways in that they've pushed now Disney to pay much more. That was always sort of a, a secondary effect, maybe right. not the initial goal. But the secondary question is, what would happen to Comcast's stock price? Well, Craig, the Moffat in Moffat Anderson covers yeah. it. We have a buy in that stock. The stock's been punished, right? So you put up a stock charge down from 42 to 32, in large part because of this, this deal. The stock would go up. But what's un But go up by 10%, 20%, well, 30%? I, you know, I think we think there's going to be now a question about capital allocation. You know, that this was something that was so out of the blue in terms of what people thought was, were going to, was going to happen at Comcast. So it's going to go up. I don't, I don't know if it's going to go up. Craig's called up to the 40s, but it's going to rise clearly back to. And the other question, though, is: Is there an alternative yeah. option? 
if you if you're Comcast and you're thinking, I, I, yeah. I need to I want to diversify my business and be international. Right. Maybe I want some more content. I, I, I need to figure out a, a direct to consumer play, which is part of what the Hulu right. piece is about and things like that. Is there something else you because, as you know, Brian Roberts is a uh, merger master. That's what that's what he likes to do. Right. What else does he say to? At some point, you, you have to rationalize. If you're gonna if you're gonna not go after Fox, you right. have to rationalize and say to yourself, okay, I'm not doing this. I can right. live with that, because I think there are these other options for me still. Well, un, unasked is what happens to Sky, right? So there's a whole nother bidding war happening in the UK on Sky. So could you so, decide? And I'm the regulators on, there may have, not be as potentially political as we think they may be here. Right. Well, they're political in the opposite way. They did not want right. Rupert to get bigger in the UK. But in that situation, Comcast has a higher bid than Fox. Right. right? So they've been more aggressive in putting a bid on the table. And we've not yet heard what Fox wants to do, whether or not to top that bid. Quickly so that's my answer. Quickly. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.